How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping yet another video. Right guys, um, this story here I got out in part because the, this, pe this person's friend contacts me on Facebook on a fake account to let me know information, what prisons they're in. And about, I was told last night that he'd been attacked in prison and apparently been stabbed in the head. Um, it's transpired that that isn't the case, but he was involved in an altercation where he was assaulted. Um, for those that don't know, on December the 11th, 2017, uh, Abigail Toon, who was the driver, Courtney Briley, who was Zach Boland's girlfriend, Zach Boland and David Worrell, hatched a plan to petrol bomb the sleeping Pearson family home on Jackson Street in Walden. Abigail Toon was the driver. She drove them to get cocaine. She drove them to get alcohol. She drove them then to get petrol. They went back. They put. They used one of the Budweiser bottles as a petrol bomb. David Worrell threw that one. Uh, Zach Boland threw a wine bottle full of petrol. Uh, after they smashed Michelle Pearson's kitchen window, Abigail Toon and Courtney Bradley stayed in the vehicle. And, Court, and David Worrell and Zach Boland petrol bombed the house. Two weeks to the day before Christmas, guys. Paint a picture. Christmas tree in the corner. Presents under the tree that the kids thought Santa had brought. Never got to celebrate, guys. The lives were snuffed out. Four children died in that fire. Mother Michelle was, was, was pulled out alive. God knows how, but she was. She's been left with life-changing injuries. Abigail Tuna was the driver. Her uncle was part of Great Manchester Police and so is her stepmother. Um, they, she turned grass on the other three because obviously she was implicated in child murder. She's a child murderer, guys. 100 fucking percent. Abigail Toon. I did on fake Facebook accounts and all that while she works at Pandora. Oh, it makes me blood boil, guys. Um, Zach Boland, David Worrell and Courtney Briley all was arrested uh, for the murders. All went no comment. Um, went to trial. It was all... This this particular Muppet was very smirky and cocky in the, in the dock and everything like that. I was trying to get them filled in whilst he was in prison, but he was on the protection wing, in the, sorry, in the, on the segregation unit at Forest Bank Prison. They didn't go to strange ways because um, some of the, uh, some of Michelle's children's father, um, Michelle's children's father was in the prison. Uh, he was the father to some of Michelle's children. He's in strange ways. So they went to Forest Bank in the segregation unit. Um, I was trying to get them done in, I'm not gonna lie. I spoke to a prison officer that actually works at the prison he told me there was in the segregation unit. I, I, I'm horrible, guys. Like I, I, the, things you don't want to be in prison: grass, paedophile, rapist, child murderer, child murderer times four, fucking four, four. You know what I'm saying? Scumbags, mate. Right? And then someone on their side of the fence contacts me to tell them what prison they're in and about the assaults and stuff like that and blah blah blah. And do you know what the thing is? I've got someone that's on Courtney Briley's wing. But she can't get near it because the she's apparently she's always got a prison officer with her. So I'm told. Uh, Zach Bolland, he's on the protection wing at Full Sutton Prison. An old friend of mine's actually on that protection wing. Um, from many years ago, you may or may not know what I'm talking about. He's on his wing. Trust. Um, David Worrell is on the protection wing at uh, Franklin Prison, which is a catty in the northeast. Like I say, and Zach Boland is in the on protection wing at Full Sutton. Courtney Bradley is at Bronzefield Prison down in Surrey. Know everything, me guys. Know everything. So one of their people contacted me, said he'd been stabbed in the head, blah, blah, blah. Told what prison he was in. I passed the information to the Manchester Evening News. They then got to speak to the prison and stuff like that and prison sources and blah, blah, blah. The headline reads, Man jailed for killing four kids. Four kids in Walkden house fire involved in brawl behind bars. I was hoping that he'd been done in and he, he was hospitalised and stuff. Didn't turn out to be the case, but he'd been assaulted, which is good enough for me. And the bigger picture is, by letting people know his name and what prison he's in, lights him up like a Christmas tree. Anyone that's been in jail knows what I'm saying. David Worrell, 26, was involved in a fight with another inmate at the high security at HMP Franklin in Durham. Ian Huntley's in there. You've got the Yorkshire Ripper. Michael Adabalagio's in there. Uh, um, Reese Jones's killer, God bless Reese Jones, may he rest in peace. Sean Mercer's in that prison. 
You can see a picture of the scumbag at the start, guys. A jailed murderer who helped to slaughter four innocent children in a firebomb attack has been disciplined after getting involved in a brawl behind bars. David Worrell, 26, was involved in a fight with another inmate at the high security HMP Franklin in Durham, where he is serving a life sentence. The Manchester Union News has learned. It is understood both prisoners have been disciplined. Worrell and his, his pal Zach Bolland were handed life sentences earlier this year after a jury at Manchester Crown Court convicting them of murder. Even though the evidence was against them, guys, they all ran trial. Made the family listen to all the details of that night, of that fateful night. Scumbags. And now Courtney Briley, guys, is trying to get an out. She tried to get an acquittal. We know case to answer during the trial. She's now appealing her length and sentence, the length of her sentence and the conviction, trying to get an out. Courtney, you better stay in prison, babe, because it's safer for you. You see what, you know what I mean? People will take exception. I'm not saying from me. There's no threat from me, but I'm just saying people will take exception, guys. She can't walk on the streets of Salford again. She'll be attacked. Demi Pearson, 15, God bless Demi, and her siblings, Brandon, aged eight, Lacey, age seven, and Leah Pearson, age three years old, guys, a baby, were killed, were all killed when the fire on their, when their home on Jackson Street in Walkden was firebombed on December the 11th, 2017. Their mother, Michelle, 36, was rescued, but remains in a serious condition. Nearly 11 months on, guys. For those that don't know, I was involved with the fundraising. I provided security at the funeral. Um, free of charge with Frenchie. We walked with the procession because we heard that people were going to disrupt it. I was hoping that they didn't because I would have kicked off. Uh, we did security on the door of the church as well. Where there was over a thousand people trying to get in. They the only hold 350. We had to make sure that friends and family got in first. And then via wristbands at the wake, we made sure that only people with wristbands got in. The attack was a devastating, uh, a devastating climax to a feud between Bolland and Kyle Pearson, Michelle's son, who escaped the blaze. It was actually his friend, to be fair, that, that had the issue as well. Bolland of Blackleach Drive, Worsley, was jailed for a minimum of 40 years after he was convicted of murder at the conclusion of that trial, which heard he threw a large petrol bomb, wine bottle, into the house through a rear window as the family slept. His friend Worrell of Worsley Avenue, Worsley, had been part of the feud and threw a smaller petrol bomb into the house but not caused significant damage. He was caged for a minimum of 37 years after being convicted of murdering the children. Worrell had denied the murder, claiming he had not thrown any petrol bombs and he believed Bolland would be setting fire to bins. The jury disagreed and convicted them. The Manchester Union News has learned Worrell has been serving his sentence at the Category A HMP Franklin in the North East and he was involved in a fight with another inmate about three weeks ago. It's understood both inmates have been disciplined and Worrell did not require hospital treatment as a result of his injuries. Good shame that. HMP Franklin houses some of the most dangerous prisoners in the UK, including terrorists, murderers and rapists. In, uh, inmates include Ian Huntley, who murdered 10-year-old girls, Holly Wells and Jessica Chapman in 2002. God bless them, may they both rest in peace. Yorkshire Ripper Peter Sutcliffe. Um, prison sources have denied allegations that Worrell is thought to is how hold on prison sources have denied allegations that Worrell who is thought to have been housed away from the main prison population protection uh, was attacked and stabbed in the head a spokesman for the Ministry of Justice declined to comment when contacted by the Manchester Evening News now I'll, I can clear this up because I've got the inside track with this right the journalist contacted the Ministry of Justice spokesman off the record, the prison spoke. The prison officer spokesman said that yes, there'd been an altercation and he'd been assaulted. But on the record, they don't like these stories getting out because, like I say, it lights these people up like Christmas trees. They like to keep a lid on these things, so they declined to comment on the record. So it's just to clear that up. So it's true. A third accomplice, Bolland's girlfriend, this slag Courtney Briley, sweaty little skanky mess that she is. With any luck, she's the weaker of all three. So with any luck, she'll take her own life in jail. Her. I mean, uh, or, someone will, or someone will serve it up. Uh, was handed a 21-year sentence in a young offender's institution after she was found guilty of manslaughter. She was cleared of murder and has launched an appeal against her sentence and conviction, adding insult, for me, adding insult to injury to the, to, to the Lever Pearson family. She helped the two men carry out the attack, urging them to put their hoods up as they purchased the petrol using the firebombing and then went with them in the car that took them and the petrol bombs to Jackson Street. So the stood Briley serving a sentence at HMP Bronzefield. You know, Bronzefield, we've got people in there getting it sorted. In Surrey, which houses some of the nation's most dangerous female prisoners, including Joanna Dennehy, who stabbed three men to death in 2013. She is said to be a broken woman behind bars. Broken. 
doesn't know the fuck you mean in other words. What about Michelle Pearson? What about life-changing injuries? What about the, the ripple effect through the Lever Pearson family? Fucking broken. Doesn't know the mean of the word. Brightly claims she acted because she was in fear of a violent and abusive boyfriend, Bolland, and did not realise exactly what he was about to do. No, 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 fucking no, no, she didn't. No, 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 she didn't. What happened? What fucking happened? Right, that little slag, mate, right, who was part of the feud, who used to go out with a piece of wood and all this in the street, yeah? What she did, guys, she went no comment in police interview. If she would have spoken on police interview and said, look, I didn't want to do it. I wasn't part of it. I didn't know what he was going to do. She could have served him up and walked away, right? She would have been a grass, but do you know what I mean? She could have said, oh, uh, it was coercive. I went along with it to get by and all this shit. I was in fear for my safety and all that bollocks. She didn't. She went no comment to protect him. Then at trial, too, 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 too late. Then she was like, I'm scared. I don't want to go to prison. Right. She cried, guys. Unfortunately, the jury bought into her tears and actually only found her guilty of manslaughter. Um, she's appealed against the length and the conviction itself, saying that she hasn't done this, which is adding insult to injury for the Lever Pearson family. Uh, the appeal will not be successful. Um, worst case scenario, she'll get her sentence reduced, but I don't think that will happen. And if it's not successful, the judge can actually add time to her sentence or he can actually restart her sentence again. The, the family been left with a life sentence, guys. She got 21 years. You know what I mean? Not as a minimum, guys. So she won't serve 21 years. You know what I'm saying? And she wants to play victim, guys. Her mum's, her mum's changed her name on Facebook and posting pictures of her and her slaggy daughter and stuff like that. If my kid was guilty of the murders of four children, let me tell you, I wouldn't have fuck all to do with them. You know I mean? But like I say, guys, yeah. I'm very angry, guys. Yeah, the thing is, like, I've got, I've got the story was half correct in a sense, but the point is, the story's out there. It lets you know what prisons are in, and I'll tell you straight. So, Briley is in is in Bronzefield Prison, which is down south where Joanna Dennehy is, but she, Joanna Dennehy is in the segregation unit. I believe too dangerous to be housed with other women. They don't have protection wing, wings in prisons. Apparently, initially, when she was remanded, Courtney Briley, she was on the Kelly Kello unit. Um, which was a segregation unit at the jail. She was shit scared. She'd only apparently she'd only eat boiled eggs because she was fearful of prisoners interfering with her food. There's a lot of ruthless women in prison, right? And she will get she'll she she will inevitably will move to another prison in the, during the sentence, and someone will end up cleaning her clock because if a mother's in there, anyone that's any female offenders are in prison that are ruthless, they should be attacking her because of the nature of her crime. There's no protection wings unless she's kept in the segregation unit. Zach Bolland, David Worrell, Bolland is on protection at Full Sutton Prison, KA near York. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Got anyone, have we got anyone in these prisons? There's always someone that's willing to put themselves on protection. Any prisoner can put himself on protection. Ordinarily, it's housed with paedophiles, rapists, child molesters, rape, uh, like I say, child murderers. But you do get like the exceptions, you know what I mean? High profile gang members, people that like people that go on protection all because they might be in debt. They could put themselves on OP, which is own protection, or they can put themselves on VP. I'll tell you straight, if I went to jail for child murder, I'm sorry, I couldn't look myself in the mirror if I was sharing wings with rapists and paedophiles. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. Would rather they should. In America, they don't have protection, guys. Like I, I, I posted a story on Facebook the other day about a prisoner who was on his cell. They, they, they threw an inmate in with him. There's no protection. He was a child molester. They call them chomos in America. Chomos for child molester. He kept talking about the case and was trying to tell this prisoner why he'd done it and like trying to trying to stick up for himself. The prisoner got down from a bunk, smashed his fucking head in, and took his life. He said, "Only God can judge." He said, but I set up the appointment, murdered him, no remorse. He said he felt sorry for the victim's family, but he didn't feel sorry for the person he murdered. And anyone, right, there was a there was a guy called, I think it was Liam Dean from Wakefield, child murderer, shook his baby to death, went to went to Leeds Prison Armory Jail. Didn't go on protection, man. What happens to child uh, killers in prison, guys? He was murdered. He killed one baby, his own baby. These killed four children. Four. Remember the name, Zach Boland, David Worrell, Courtney Briley, and even that Abigail Toome. She just turned grass. She works at Pandora. I can't say you where because I don't. You can't go for her or anything like that because it's illegal and like that. Do you know what I mean? It would reflect bad on the person leave a family. I know how I strongly I feel about child murderers, and I know how strongly you feel, guys, as well. 
And like I say, there'll be some live wire in the prison system that will take exception to it, put themselves on protection and attack them. They shouldn't be able to go on protection. They think they're big hard men, don't they? Bullying a woman, bullying her kids. I mean, it's sickening, guys. Absolutely vile, disgusting human beings. And do you know what makes me laugh? I've got someone that's in their camp that's telling me all the info. And that's without even reaching out to you guys, all 9,050 plus of you. You know what I mean? What do you think about child molesters? Uh, not child molesters. Fucking hell. What do you think about child murderers, guys? What do you think should happen to them three in prison? I just want to know from you guys. It's not about what I think, guys. I've got my own personal opinions and stuff like that. Uh, like I say, I feel extremely strongly about this. And that this is why I do videos. By When you name someone in the media or you tell them what prisons they're in, even though they're on protection, people can get at them because they can put themselves on protection. Prisons shouldn't be safe places for these people. Courtney Briley's trying to appeal and trying to get an out. She'd have to be given a new identity, man, because she would be targeted, not by me, but by the people of Salford. It touched a lot of people, what went on, and it angered a lot of people. Two weeks of the day before Christmas, guys. Christmas tree in the corner. Presents wrapped up, ready to go. A doughty mother and her children looking forward to celebrating Christmas. It was taken away from them, guys. Taken away. Michelle's still in hospital. God bless Michelle. Power, power to her. She's an extremely strong woman. I haven't had the honour or the privilege of meeting her, but I had the honour and privilege of providing security at the funeral. Like I say, Frenchie came up at his cost from London. I got a taxi, picked Frenchie up, and then we went there. We walked with the procession. We, it was a long day. Like I said, it, we didn't give a shit about how long the day was. It was an honour and a privilege. It wasn't there for financial gain. The owner of the venue where the wake was held kept saying, oh, how much are you getting paid? Nothing. Some, and he was like, nothing. He was like, yeah, mate, some things are more important than money. I mean, it was a promise to a family that we'd follow it through, and we followed it through. And it was one of the most humbling experiences of my life. I'd never been to a funeral before that. It, my heart bleeds, guys. Really, really does, guys. Disgusting, cowardly act. I was hoping that when he, when I got told that he'd been attacked and stuff, I was like, like I say, you've got to take these stories with a pinch of salt. I believe that because the fact that the person out of the 120 prisons there is to pull out two Cat A prisons, I thought, unless you know your prison, you wouldn't know this information. So I was like, right. So I knew, because I knew they wouldn't be in strange ways because that's where the father of some of Michelle's children is. So I knew that they'd be in other prisons, right? And I, I thought, I thought they're more likely to be in the Cat A because of the length of sentence and stuff like that and conviction. So that was that. Um, and like I say, I know what prisons are in now. My old friend is on Zach Boland's wing. I've got someone that I can get that's on the wing for Dave Worrell. And a traveller contacted me saying his cousin is in um, um, Bronzefield Prison, where Courtney Briley is. And she wants to meet her acquaintance. I can't be held accountable for what people do. I mean, like I say, I can't incite people to, to cause violence and stuff like that. Um, all the families are stuck by them, which is disgusting. They're scumbags, obviously. <clears throat> child murder, guys. Child murder. The effect that it's had on the family has just been astronomical. But they're good people as well. They're not bad people. They're not scumbags, guys. Nice, nice, lovely, lovely people. Right? And my heart goes out to them. And if the family need anything, I would be there in a heartbeat. And if any of my prison contacts end up doing them in, feed me the information and I'll feed it back to the family and I'll also try and get it in the paper. Can't be held, I, can't, I can't be held accountable for what other people do. Um, but they should be taken off protection, put in general population. I'd give them hours to live. As soon as them doors unlock, bam. Anyone with anything about them would attack them on site. That's how it goes. Other people let shit slide. But those that feel strongly and that live by the code would attack them on site. But that's that's if they wasn't on protection. But like I say, just because they're on protection doesn't mean people can't get to them. These things go on. Now, what was this fight? Because did someone attack him because of his because of his convictions? Because he's a child murderer? Or was it a debt? I mean, it could be a whole host of things. But like I say, that's one beating of many that he's going to get. And the law get it. With any look, Courtney Bradley's the weaker of the case. She's broken in prison, blah, blah, blah. With any luck, she'll do everyone a favour and fucking do, it in, do herself in. But like I say, you can only hope, can't we, guys? 
on that note guys going to leave it here talk for another 20 minutes let me know what you think about the video let me know what you think about the story the link is in the description below um fuck courtney briley fuck david warrell and fuck zach bland and fuck you abigail Tien, if you watch this as well you little slag right god bless demi brandon lacy and little lay pearson god bless them babies may they rest in paradise on that note guys like comment subscribe cody out